Hello, my name's Susan Coop, and this is the first of my series of mini workshops which I'm offering to everybody out there like me is confined to home at the moment and I just want to share some creative ideas as I'm an art and textile teacher and hopefully get you inspired to have a go at creating something. So what I'm going to be using a lot of is recycled materials like envelopes, paper bags, cereal packets, tissue paper in combination with any art materials you might already have at home. So today I'm going to be using the inside of an envelope. Just any old ordinary envelope will do. If you open, tear them open, you'll often find that they have really interesting patterns on the inside. There's one there. Here's another one that has an interesting brickwork pattern. And what I'm going to create today is a really simple little image, a spring image, using that brickwork pattern of the inside of the envelope. And the base here, this paint, is just some ordinary everyday emulsion paint or um, like a patch pot like this that you might have around the home. If you're using someone else's paint please ask permission and ask if you can have a little bit of their emulsion or something like that. So let's get started. Um, first of all as I said I'm going to be using a little bit of um, envelope like this. So I'm going to tilt the camera down in a very amateurish fashion because I'm not an experienced camera person. Hopefully you can see that. And what I'm gonna use is just an ordinary craft brush like that, which I've dipped in water, wipe the excess off, dip it into the, the paint and make lots of lovely kisses like that. You can see it's opaque, which means it's a little bit transparent, a bit more there, make it a little bit thicker. So we've got a bit of a base, so lots of kisses onto our brickwork, like that. You need a pale colour because we're going to be drawing on top of this. This is a sort of a pale, soft grey. So make a bit of texture with your brushes, like that. Okay. And then, so you can still see a bit of the brickwork. Then, let that dry. When that's dry, you'll end up with something a little bit like this, okay? But before we um, draw our little tulip images on, I thought it'd be worth practicing those first. So on this sheet of paper here, I'm gonna show you roughly how to do a tulip image. So basically you start with a smile, bring the smile down in an upside down V, pick it up this side and take it into the side. You'll end up with a tulip. So practice a few times like this, over we go, pick up the other side and take it into the side like that. Third one, bring that in to the side like that. Then the stalks. You could do a dead straight stalk like that, but that's a little bit boring. And I like to give my stalks a bit of character. So I'm gonna curve them like that. A little bit jaunty like that. And then we need to add the, the leaves. So bring a leaf up like that. And then halfway up the stalk between the two edges, put in Another one, slightly smaller. Again, big one there, little one. Big one in that side, then a little one a little bit further up. Okay, so then you have your tulip shapes and your stalks. Right, so now we had a little practice and we're experts, we can do it on our sheet of paper as well. So I'm gonna use that slightly lighter side, so not too big, we're doing series of tulips. Tilt them in different ways to make them look a bit more interesting. Like that. Remember the curvy stalks. Happy stalks. And curve that one in. Then our 
leaves, big shape, little shape, big shape, little shape. Now, depending what you have at home and what you've got to colour it in with, you could use either coloured pencils, like these here, or wax crayons, or I've got here some oil pastels. It's up to you. I do like the richness of oil pastels, but we can do both. So I'm going to use the coloured pencil first. Colour that in like that. And then you can add another colour over the top to make it a little bit more orange in places. It's totally up to you how you colour it in. If you want to be a little bit more adventurous, for oil pastels here. So we're going to make it darker around the edge, a bit of shadow. And then lift it a little bit with some orange blend over the top. It's entirely up to you how you do it. Got some coloured pencils. Whoops, that one's broken. Never mind. Get rid of that. We can colour in with our oil pastels. Or pencils. It's entirely up to you. So I've done dark around the edge and lighter in the middle. Okay? So you can carry on like that. Colour them in however you like. Um, you might want to uh, create a picture, in which case it could be in a little frame and look a little bit like that. Or you could make greetings cards and you can buy cards and envelopes from um, places like Amazon, whole sets, that's in recycled paper or white paper. And as you can see here, I've started to draw just in a ballpoint pen our tulips. And here I have added our brickwork envelope again with some paint over, cut a little strip along the top and then continue the tulips out of the, of the painted area onto the card. You can colour those in. There's lots of ideas. Okay, I hope you found that a little bit inspiring. I'm just say I'm sorry for the rough and ready appearance of the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, I'd really welcome them on Susan Coop Create. That's Coop spelt C-O-U-P-E. So please give me some feedback and do share this with all your friends and let's make this a creative community. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be doing another video in a few days time. Take care everybody. Bye bye.